we're going to go to Zoho. I'm already logged in from our last video and there's all these other features that I can get started with. What I want to get started on with is sites. So let's click on site, let's build it, and let's access Zoho Sites. We're already signed in. That's the great thing about this service. You don't have to have multiple logins, multiple uh, passwords to remember. You have it all right there. So let's go ahead and access Zoho Sites. And it's loading. And let's get this started. Create site. So these are the templates that we can go through. Choose which template we like best. So I'm just going right now. That's kind of neat one with the, the picture in the background. Um, some business themed ones. I'm just scrolling through to find a template that I like. And what I said, this is a WYSIWYG editor. What you see is what you get. You don't have to know code. I think knowing code will help, but it's not necessary. And what I'm trying to do, I'm not looking at the images, but I'm looking at more design. So here's, you see a picture right here. And it says lorem ipsum, which is just like some text. And then it has more information over here. I don't like the sidebars as well. So I'm going to try and keep this clean and simple. Maybe something more like this layout or this layout. I like the picture in the background. Well, let's just get started. I'm just going to choose one. Let's jump up to... Instead of choosing one with like a picture background, I'm going to choose this one without a picture background. And just because I don't have any pictures taken right now and to upload. So let's go and choose this. So here's the site. And when we're ready, we're going to publish, but we need to change stuff first. So here's a site details. Let's go ahead and edit that first. Let's launch our web. And we're going to show that. We're going to show a logo. We want a logo. We're going to show a menu. We can also show a sidebar. Let's see what the sidebar does. Launch our web. There it is. Let's go ahead and change our logo. And we're going to upload a file. File size 60 pixels by 60 pixels. I'm not sure I have a logo that size, but we can go, go look. So let's go down to our desktop. 60 by 43, that's the one we need to upload. So let's upload another file. 60 by 43. And let's choose that one. There we go. That looks a lot better. In here we have an image that we should probably get changed. I guess I'll just take a picture another time. Maybe we can load it next time. Down here we got some um, images, and here's our sidebar logo down here. I like that because what I'm probably going to do right here is have a little sign up form so you guys can sign up for my newsletter, which I hope to get started here soon. So let's go ahead and let's just rename some of this text and let's just call this welcome. And I don't have anything written yet. So what I'm doing, I'm kind of bringing up a piece of paper here. You guys can't see it, but that's sort of my my notes myself when I was recording that first video about who I am, what I'm doing, my thoughts and processes behind this website. And I'm going to maybe reference that a little bit, reference my notes, just to kind of remember everything I was talking about. But let's go and get started. Bold that as well. Kind of get like a little bit of header, and I think I did 18 font. Welcome to lunchhourweb.com. Let's just read this over. My name is Paul Stevens, and I'm recording videos of myself building a website and web-based business from scratch. That's right. When I started, I had zero items set up. No domain, no images, logos, colors, product to sell, etc. My idea is that I can build a website, record the process, so you can follow along and build your own website. as well. Hopefully that makes sense to people. Problem, I don't have a lot of spare time. I have a beautiful wife and two wonderful boys. The first is seven and the, old, and the second is one year old. I also have a full-time job working 8 o'clock a.m. to 5 o'clock p.m. which doesn't leave much time to build or focus on building a web-based business. Solution, I found that one of our, this is where the text changes size. I want to change this all up a little bit. Well, it's 10 point, let's change it up to 12 point. Here we go. All uniform size. I found that I ha have one hour every weekday that I can dedicate to this idea. That time being my lunch hour. Luckily I work from home so I can eat lunch quickly, record a video, and make any edits without affecting my regular job. And this is important because you're 
your daytime job is your important job. This is a side adventure for me. And it's, and it's as much just to learn how to do this as it is to share how to do this. It doesn't replace. And my, my primary duties are to my job. Please join me in this process. I look forward to hearing from you. And I'm hopeful that this website helps you achieve building an online website as well. Cheers, Paul Stevens. Let's go ahead and let's move this part. I'm going to just cut that. Control X. Did it work? No, it didn't work. Okay. And what I'll do instead, I'll change that right here. Welcome to lunchhourweb.com. And let's go ahead and change that to be 24 point. There we go. It's a little bit different font color. And actually, I'm going to, speaking of font color, anytime you're thinking of colors, think about your own color scheme. Let's change that to our dark blue or darker blue. Let's see if we can do that here. Font color. And yes, it gives those numbers right here. So I have 4375CC. But that worked. And now I have this in kind of a gray, all white. I have some footer items. I'm going to remove this Zoho ad. Let's remove this anyway. Footer ad has been removed. Publish your site to see changes. I'm not too worried about that yet. So I also have a contact page. This little contact us. Yeah, I'm not sure I really need that right now. Let's go ahead and manage pages. So we're going back to our main page. Let's go to manage pages. I can delete them. I wonder if there's a way I can just kind of hide it. So I don't want to necessarily delete it because I might use it at some point. Um, this is what if we protect it? Restrict access. Oh, okay. I see. Okay. So that allows me to, to password protect it. But let's go ahead and for now let's change this image. And we're going to choose this big bowl. We're going to customize edit banner for this site. Let's slider background. Let's just change it to white. There we go. I can move this up or down. We can resize it, make it much bigger, much smaller if we want. I can, oh, that's what the opacity does. Okay. I'm just looking at put your catchy title here button. Uh, I kind of like number four, number one. Yeah, let's leave this here for now. Let's go ahead and be the first to know. Sign up for our newsletter. Let's go ahead and resize this a little bit. And we can move it around just a little bit, try and center it up. And the button, the button properties over here. You know, I don't have a newsletter sign up right now. Let's go ahead and make this an email. Sign up. And this is going to send to Paul at lunchhourweb.com. Subject, I'd love to hear more. Right, let's try that. Okay, so if we press OK. And let's go ahead and save. All right, so now we got our lunch hour web. Uh, there's our logo. And I don't think I changed the size of that. Sign up for our newsletter, Lunch Hour Web, be the first to know. If you click that, what happens? You may have to install an email client like uh, Firebird or something. I'm getting really close to being done here. So let's go ahead and add a heading right in here. Latest videos. And move that heading right in here. And we'll move another heading right there and obtain domain name and here we're going to go with social media sign up that's okay or email custom email about we'll have, we'll have an about video and what I'd like to do is maybe send a little link here and let's go ahead and change this to 
or this is where my images can go. What I want to do for the image property though is create a link. And that link is going to jump over to youtube.com slash and right now let's go over to YouTube. I'm not sure what my channel name is and I did figure out the other day how to uh, get a custom YouTube URL. You have to have over 30 days be signed up and you have to have over 100 subscribers. So you guys help me with that. I'd love that if you guys could um, help me with that. The 100 subscribers. I haven't even put anything up there yet so of course I don't have it. But this is my channel. Let's go ahead and copy that. And let's just put it right here. And open page in same tab. Nope, we don't want to do that. You know, I'm okay with the search engines. And let's go ahead and save that here. So what the idea is when you click that, it's going to bring them up to that YouTube channel, my YouTube channel. And what I'll actually do is in YouTube, once you post a video, and let's just go home. Let's 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 go find a video that's out there. Um here's a movie trailer. If you want, let's pause that. I can share. And embed this link. So what I'll do is I'll actually embed this unique YouTube link to my first welcome video and I'll change that to be the link instead of my channel. So what we'll, we'll do that later. I guess the next step is really to get videos posted online and that'll be a great way to get started and also sign up for a web form because ideally I want to send you guys emails whenever I post a video. It's, it's okay right now you notice this is very much a work in progress site. Uh, let me go ahead and change a little bit. Fill out the form below to sign up for our newsletter. And I should put a heading in there first. Get involved. I don't know. I have, they have to think about using some of the words. I have to be the first to know, sign up for our newsletter, they can sign up there. And right now that's just an email. We'll send an email to myself. Once I get a form filled out, a newsletter, which I might have to build next or, or start uploading videos to YouTube next, so probably my next one or two videos, we can build a form to sign up for a newsletter, and then you guys can start being notified whenever a new video is posted. I can also embed a video here. Wow, that's actually a really good idea. Maybe I should... Maybe I'll have that as this little section right here. Instead of being an image, maybe I'll embed my my video, my welcome video, and they can explain about it. Let's go to preview site. So this is what it looks like. Right now I have to go to site preview. And so this is what it looks like. Home, that home is in a weird, okay, so I, that, that really dark background. Shadowlife.com, cool. In mobile view, everything is mobile optimized. So you don't have to worry about this looking different or bad on a smartphone. This is what it looks like on a on a smartphone. Click on the menu, about, domain name, custom meal, welcome to lunchhourweb.com. I may move these down farther and get involved, fill out a form below. Cool. I love it. Let's go ahead and jump back here. I'll go ahead and exit out of that. And let's go ahead and publish. Why not? Let's publish this. Let's see this work. So now it says domain configuration. So I have to map my existing domain and lunchhourweb.com. Proceed. And it's probably going to tell me what to do. Well, it didn't actually end up finishing. I ended up refreshing my page. All my settings were saved, thankfully. So I got impatient there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and look around and try and get this figured out. So if I come up here to home, let's go to my sites. Okay, the lunch hour web. That's mine. And let's go ahead and manage. We don't want to edit the site. Editing the site was what we were doing earlier. And let's see, contact manager statistics, not worried about that. Comment box, oh yeah, I definitely want to see the comment box. I'm going to have to add that in. Let's go to domains. And 
launch our web. Okay, domain has been made primary. Given below are help links that help if you are using a third party domain for your, for your website for more information about domain mapping. I think that's what we have to do. So, if you have purchased domain elsewhere, built your website using on Zoho sites, that's exactly what we did. You need to edit your domain's DNS configuration to point to your domain to Zoho sites. Okay, so that's that's what I thought. So we need to create a CNAME record with www, and uh, we'll, we'll allow notifications, that's fine, and point it to zhs.zohosites.com. Let's go ahead and copy that. Forward your root domain at yourdomain.com to www.yourdomain.com, domain with www. So you can do that. I'm going to jump over here to GoDaddy. And this is my main login screen. Now you notice I have some of these are blurred out because these are some other domains that I own. Uh, but what we want to do is go to lunchhourweb.com and manage DNS. Okay. And we want our www to point to zhs.zohosites.com. Okay. And we also want your root domain, yourdomain.com, forward your root domain to www yourdomain.com uh, I don't know why I copied that, don't need to, so forward your root domain, so I'm going to do that there we go, we need to add forwarding down here forward to www.lunchourweb.com Let's see. So if anybody goes to lunchhourweb.com, it's going to forward to www.lunchhourweb.com. And I believe those are the only two things we have to do. So now let's go back to our site. And if we jump back here, and let's go back to manage. Oh, let's just go back here and click on the sites. There we go. Edit a site, and let's see if this works now. There we go. Let's go ahead and publish. And see what happens. Hopefully, we can bring up a web browser here in a minute and look at the results. Okay, well, I paused it here for a good five minutes. Um, Unfortunately, it's just still saying please wait, but I got to end this. My lunch hour is running out really quickly. Let's just see if I'm going to let this run in the background, but let's go ahead and see if it works. Okay, so now if I go to lunchourweb.com, let's see what happens. Hey, it's working. So maybe it's just processing on the back and maybe it just didn't save. But wow, we're up. We're good. I got a website. Wow, in just a few, in just under an hour, we got this set up. You guys are more than welcome. It's very bare, very basic right now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it was informative more than anything and gives you some motivation to get started. Thank you so much for joining in and you guys have an awesome day. Hey everyone, thank you for watching this video. I hope you found the information helpful and useful for whatever it is you're doing on the web. If you liked it, please subscribe by clicking the icon above. Otherwise, you can leave comments, suggestions down below if you have any, and I will make sure to answer. Have a great day, everyone. Take care.